So in this part, we're going to deal with adding and accepting friends requests. So we've got quite a bit to do here. Before we start, again, make sure you have a few users in your table, at least two, and you have your friends table empty. So you've got no relationships in there whatsoever. And I'm signed in up here with the user Alex, and I'm also signed in in another browser with the user Dale. So I can test adding and accepting friends requests between these two users. That's really important. So the first thing I want to do is go over on the user model and implement a load of methods that we're going to use. And I'll explain what each of these are going to be used for. So um, when we come to use them, it will make a lot more sense. So the first thing we want to do is get any pending friends requests. Um, but this is going to be slightly different because it's going to be using the friend of relationship. So I'm going to implement this now, friend requests pending. And this is going to return this friend of where pivot accepted is false. So bear in mind, we're doing exactly the same thing here, but we're doing friends of instead of friends of mine. It's this two way relationship kind of thing. And we just get that. So we could grab a collection from that. So the next method is going to be to check if if a user has a friend request pending from another user, because we need to use that functionality. So here we're going to implement a method called has friend request pending. And this is going to be slightly different because into this we're going to pass in a user, which we can then use to compare and see if the current user has a friend request pending from this user. So to check if a, uh, if a user has a friend request pending, we want to say return this friend requests pending where the ID of the user equals the user ID that we pass in and we want to pull the count back from that and then we can just cast this to a boolean so that will give us a true or false value if we want to check if Dale has um, if we have a friend request pending for Dale, we can just go ahead and pass that user in and it will give us a true or false value. So now we want to implement a method to check if we have received a friend request from a particular user. And these are all going to be used within our controllers to check if we're trying to add a friend that we already have a friend request pending for, or if we're trying to accept a friend request that we have already received. So it's just basically, uh, you know, very short helper methods to allow us to do this that we can reuse. So has friend request received. So in here we do a very similar thing. We pass in user, we type hint this. And again, we do a similar thing that we did with the has friend request pending method. But this time we use the friends requests relationship or the friends request method rather than the friends requests pending. So we return this friend requests where the ID equals that user ID. Pull back the count and then we can just cast this to a boolean. So we'll again either get a true or false value here. So the next method is to actually add a friend and then we're going to create a method to accept a friend request. So these are pretty straightforward. So we're going to have add friend and we obviously need the ability to pass in another user here so we can add them as a friend. And we just say this friend of and we're going to attach that user ID. And we'll see how this works later when we actually call this method in the controller. So the next one is to accept a friend request, just slightly more complicated. And again, when we accept a friend request, we need to say which user we're accepting the friend request from. And we use the friends request method where the ID is equal to the user ID. So this then will pull from the friends request that obviously this user will be in because we're accepting a friend's request, a friend request from the list of our friend requests. We want to grab that user that we've pulled, just pulled out from that list. 
and we want to update the pivot table in relation to this. So that will mean that we'll pull out this, we want, we'll pull out that user, but then we want to find the pivot where that that is, and then just update the accepted. So we say pivot update and we pass in an array. So in here we would just say accepted true. Simple as that. So we now have a list of methods that are useful. I guess another method that would help us since we're outputting the whole process, all of the buttons that we need is going to be is friends with. That's going to tell us if we are friends with a particular user. So rather than duplicating all this functionality, we're putting it all inside of our model. It makes it a lot easier to work with. So we want to check if we're friends with a particular user. And again, we return similar to the method has friend request received or has friend request pending. But this time we're checking inside of our friends method that we created, which is just a list of our friends. And we say where ID equals that user ID. We grab the count and we uh, cast that to a boolean so we get a true or false value. If none of these make too much sense at the moment, when we actually use them within our controllers, it's going to be a lot easier. So what we're going to focus on now then is inside of our friend controller, we're going to implement a method to add a friend and accept a friend. And also inside of our profile, what we want to do is if we have a friend request pending, we obviously want to output a button to accept it. Or if we don't have a friend request pending, we want to have a button to add a friend request. So what we'll do is we'll implement all of this now, regardless of whether we're going to see it just yet. And then later on, we will see this, uh, see this, uh, these buttons output. So the first if statement then is going to be our authenticated user has friend request pending from the current user. So bear in mind, we're looking at this user's profile. So I'm just going to end that if that end that if there. And I'm going to say waiting for user get name or username to accept your request. So we can actually test this out. So say we are on our friends page or, or rather on someone else's page. Um, we can start off on the friends page. So let's say that in our uh, database table, we have user ID one and we have user ID two as a friend ID. Under my account then, that will be a friend request from Dale. I can click on that and we see nothing here. But if I'm on Dale's account and I go over to Alex, waiting for Alex Garrett to accept your request because Dale has sent a friend request to Alex. So this is working, this part of it. So on my profile then, I need, when I'm looking at Dale, to be able to actually add her as a friend. So we need to add to this if statement. We're going to have lots of if else's here. You can obviously modify this and make it a little bit nicer. You can put these checks anywhere you want, so it really doesn't matter. So we're going to have else if. And this is going to be if the currently authenticated user has a friend request received from this user. Then we are going to output an anchor. We have a class here of button, button, primary, and the text in here is accept friend request. Let's just uh, stick a hash in there for now. So here on Dale's profile, I can accept her friend request. She sent me a friend request from here. She can see on my profile that she's waiting for me to accept it. And I can see that she sent me one and I can click on that. So now we need to deal with the situation if a user is friends. So we have another else if, and again, feel free to put these wherever you want, just tidy it up. 
if the currently authenticated user is friends with the user we're currently viewing the profile on, we just want to say you and X are friends. And in place of X, we can obviously put the user's name. So user get name or username. So now we are kind of waiting for this friend request to be accepted. Once we have accepted it, which we'll build in in a minute, you and Dale are now friends. When I go over to here, you and Alex Garrett are friends. So we've got that functionality in there now. So otherwise, if no relationship exists at all, we always want a button there to be able to add a friend request. So let's delete this. At the moment, we'll see nothing on both of these users' accounts. So we need a final else here. And we're going to create an anchor. This is going to be add as friend. Again, we'll have a class on here of button, button, primary. We'll have a hash just in here for now. And there we go. So we're not friends at the moment. There's no friend request pending. But obviously now we see both them buttons. So now what we're going to do in the next part is deal with when we click on this, we actually want to insert a record. But we have a few conditions for this because if a friend request is already pending or if we're already friends with the user and the user hits this link in their browser, if they, they obviously know the link for this, then we're going to be in trouble. So next, we're going to look at actually inserting that into the database. So this is a lot more dynamic. We don't have to keep creating records in the database ourselves.